everyone, welcome to Western Australia. My name is Zoe Keller. I'm the Environmental Compliance Officer here at Hanson Construction Materials. Today, I'm standing in the oldest restoration site here at Gaskell Sand Quarry, which is situated north of Perth in Western Australia. I'll be taking you on a virtual field trip to discuss our restoration process, the research collaborations we have, as well as specific ongoing projects to do with Banksy Woodland. So please, sit back and enjoy this field trip. Here we are in the centre of Gaskell Sand Quarry in the heart of their main pit. The quarry itself operates an area of 1300 hectares and is situated on the Swan Coastal Plain, which is the coastal dunal system that is excavated by Hanson. A number of years ago Hanson decided that we would restore what the natural vegetation complex was being Banksy woodlands. Unfortunately, Banksy woodlands are renowned for their hydrophobic and inorganic soils. So once topsoil has been removed, then the careful placement of that topsoil is integral to the restoration process. Research projects to this day continue to build on the knowledge of these inorganic soils and the solutions towards germination and restoration to the once established bank shield land. These research projects are derived from the three decade established research partnership between Hanson and the Botanical Gardens and Parks Authority, now known as Kings Park. And I'm going to show you a presentation from Alison Ritchie, who was a runner up in the International Quarry Life Awards held by Heidelberg Cement and her project is based on seed enhancement technologies for Banksy woodland species here at Gaskell Quarry and some of those projects that have stemmed from that so please enjoy. Establishing biodiverse rehabilitation has many challenges particularly involving the complex ecosystem of Banksy woodlands one major challenge is the invasive weeds that we encounter and can outcompete germinants, while another is the challenge of limited available topsoil. Allison's Quarry Life project was to evaluate seed enhancement technologies for use in biodiverse Banksy woodland restoration. In the Kings Park Laboratories, viability of seed is able to be confirmed through the use of X ray analysis, and with the addition of activated carbon, we can protect seeds from herbicides through the use of extruded seed pellets as demonstrated. Glasshouse trials of the pre-emergent herbicide spraying were then conducted, which are then monitored to understand the emergent and immortality ratios and alter the pellet makeup if need be. The proof of concept study had great results and this is what was presented at the Quarry Life Award. It resulted in Alison winning first prize in the national competition. It was then time to take the study to the field at Gaskell Quarry. Various trials were set up with Thomas Munro being honest students um, dispersing the seeds into his trial of different species. Dispersal of seeds involved broadcasting directly into the area and having random locations of where those seeds fall. It was then time to measure emergence, which is a critical part of this trial. In order to do that, we then upscaled the trials for the first PhD trial being PhD student Vanessa Brown and her study was also specific to herbicide trials at post mine conditions.
and these trials are continuing at Hanson, aiming to overcome barriers to seed-based restoration through the use of enhancement technologies. As previously mentioned, Hanson works in conjunction with the Botanical Gardens and Parks Authority, also known as Kings Park, and they are the ones who conduct the research and trials to ensure rehabilitation criteria and best environmental practices are met. The first major research program in Bankshire Woodland Restoration commenced in 1995 at the original Gaskell Avenue site, and through community interest, the managing and restoring of Bankshire Woodlands has been ongoing thanks to the funding provided through compliance needs and the resources industry. This has enabled major advances to be made in the science and technology of restoration of Bankshire woodlands. And our monitoring programs are also set up and conducted on an annual basis, recording data from one, three, five, 10 and 20 year old rehabilitation sites. This is to track the progression of the rehabilitation and if there needs to be any adaptations or changes to certain areas. A key finding of this research partnership was that restoration principles for Bankshire woodlands are site specific. The challenges involved habitat matching to ensure that local provenance seed of the correct floristic type is replaced. So operational practice also had to be transformed since unlike many ecosystems elsewhere, such as North America or Europe, plant ecological succession patterns do not occur in Bankshire woodland. That is, what is restored in the first year remains the fingerprint for species composition in the long term. A priority in developing restoration principles has been to achieve the highest possible seedling recruitment levels in the first year of restoration. A high degree of human intervention is also necessary to ensure naturally migrating weeds do not outcompete the native species. Here at Gaskell Quarry, restoration isn't just project based, it's an integral part of the quarrying process, therefore quarry and restoration go hand in hand with each other. Large scale Bankshire woodland restoration continues to this very day at Gaskell Quarry. It is something that Hanson prides itself on mastering and involves both operations, management and research partnerships. Not a lot of people get to witness the long-term and longevity of restoration success and this is why it is even more special to be involved hands-on on on this partnership with Kings Park and to be able to witness Bankshire Woodland Restoration 30 years down the track. The relationship between Hanson and Kings Park reinforces the positive effect on how science and operations can work concurrently towards best environmental practices for both restoration and mine closure planning. To conclude this virtual field trip, please sit back and enjoy this promotional video that illustrates this.
this promotional video was developed to demonstrate that hard work and persistence of this 30 year collaboration between research and industry has helped benefit better knowledge and understanding of restoring Bankshire woodlands back to their established state. I want to thank you for joining me on this field trip and I am happy to take any questions but most of all I'm hoping that you've all got a better understanding of Bankshire woodlands and the restoration process here at Gaskell Sand Quarry. Thank you.